What does Hadith say? Allah is on top. I know there are some people who do say. But what we have to realize that when talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not, do not add anything of your own. It's very dangerous. Some people explain, yes, Allah by power is everywhere. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the video guys, I wanna say salam alaikum to everybody out there. Thank you so much for uh, giving us these reaction videos. And also I want to point out, um, to thank you to the brother who actually suggested that I should go download the, the Quran uh, application, which is the 360 uh, application. It has been such a good uh, application. I've been reading a lot of uh, verses. And I feel that it's been so helpful for me. I mean, it's been helping me a lot uh, on how I should look at things and how I should, you know, view uh, other things in life. Anyway, thank you so much. So, uh, and also, I want to thank the people who've been subscribing to your channel, you, the readers, and the P, and also the people who have been able to, you know, just give us comments in the comment section below, man. You guys are so amazing, so so amazing. And also, the people who've been giving us reaction videos, thank you, thank you so much. We have so many reaction videos from you guys. We're actually planning on doing them according to how you want us to do it, but uh, we have to arrange them in a way that it will actually be able to suit you much better but anyway so right about now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reaction video so this one uh, was suggested by a lot of people so many people suggested that we should go react to this one and I think there's a lot of people out there who are actually liking Dr. Zaki Naik for what he is and for not for what he is but for what he's teaching or something like that and I feel like it's it's good. It's good to 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 to, to have somebody who who is able to teach you and able to uh, give you some positive information. Anyway, guys. So today we're gonna react to where is Allah? Ask Doctor Zaki Naik. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Al Hafiza binti Abu Sama. I am a student. So uh, my nephew once asked me, uh, Auntie Fiza, where is Allah? So I am. I I got no answer. So I stumbled over Quran and I found a surah, a, saj, uh, a surah, surah uh, which is surah as sajda, and I forgot which verse. Uh, but it mentioned uh, astawa an al ash. So I am wondering. Uh, does Allah live in Ash? And what what does what does it mean by uh, as Astawa? And what does it mean by Al Ash? Uh, so the next question is by uh, my friend's question. I'm sorry, uh, she wrote it. Uh, I see division in Muslim today. There are some who follow four madhab and some are Wahhabi. Uh, problems started when they are telling each other wrong. So what, what, what is your advice? And the third question is, I'm sorry, but this is my friend's question. Uh, as a Muslim doctor, you are a Muslim doctor, uh, what is your stand uh, on vaccines? That's all. This is the three question, last question. Such an amazing question. The first question asked by her niece, that where is Allah? And she stumbled across the verse of Surah Sajda, Allah is on us, and that's correct. But the answer of yours is correct that Allah is established on his throne. But Allah also says in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11, There is nothing whatever like him. Allah hears and sees. But Allah does not hear and see like you and me. Like our ears and our eyes. So you say, how is the arsh? You start thinking of a chair. How is Allah's arsh? Allah wala. So Quran says Allah is on arsh. That is the right answer. And this arsh extends throughout. We have a thinking, you know, arsh how. So whatever description is given in hadith, we accept it. We don't add to it. There are various hadiths. There is a hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that the lady came to the... Uh, a lady was there. And Prophet wanted to test her. Is she a mu'min or not? So Allah... So the Prophet asked her, Where is Allah? She said, on top. The Prophet said, she has iman. Yeah. That's the reason when we do dua, we put our hand on the top. 
correct? Yeah. So you can give the answer, Allah is on top, that's also correct. Allah is on earth, that's also correct. Both answers are correct. Oh, uh, so the, uh, I could say to my nephew, Allah is everywhere. No. No. Uh. Now you are falling into a trap. I know there are some people who say Allah is everywhere, but there is no text. Yes, Allah is everywhere by power. Mm. What does Hadith say, Allah is on top? I know there are some people who do say, but what we have to realize that when talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not, do not add anything of your own. It's very dangerous. Some people explain, yes, Allah by power is everywhere. He has power over everything. Many verses. But Quran says he's on earth, she's on earth. Allah is on top, the Hadith says Allah is on top. It's better not to add, the Prophet said, don't waste too much time on discussing on about Allah. And you say something, you make a mistake. Best is to repeat the verse of the Quran, very safe. There's no way in the Quran which says Allah is everywhere. I know there are many Muslims who believe in that. It is safe to repeat a verse of the Quran, you can never be wrong. Regarding the second question. Second question was vaccine, or third question was vaccine? Uh, the trick question on vaccines. The second question is about the mother heart. The mother, there, there are so many mothers and each mother is criticizing the, each other. I have given the talk on unity in the Muslim Ummah on the 10th of this month. I gave in Tarangana, Kuala Tarangana. And there I said that all the four Imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him. Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him. Imam Malik, may Allah have mercy on him. Uh, and as well as the fourth Imam, Imam <laughs> Ahmed ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on him. And there were many other Ayyamas. These four were more famous. All the Ayyamas, they said that if you find a Hadith which is Sahih, that is my Madhab. All the Ayyamas said that if you find any of my opinion, any of my Fatwa, which is against the Book of Allah and the Hadith of the Prophet, ignore my Fatwa. They did not come to fight. They were all loving, they gave the opinion, and they all, and if you analyze more than 95%, all the opinions are the same. They may differ in 2, 3, 4%. And all the Imma said that if you find my opinion which is against the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, you ignore my opinion. They came to spread the deen and get the Muslim Ummah closer to Quran and Sunnah. Unfortunately, we are fighting. The only way we can come close, Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 103, Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. Hope that answers the question. Regarding use of vaccine, if the vaccine contains anything which is haram, and if it's a drug which is going to save your life, this is the ruling. If you are using a medicine, and if that medicine is the only medicine that can save your life, even if it contains alcohol, it is permitted. If it contains certain things like pig, if it's the insulin, if you have an option of bovine insulin, cow insulin, no problem. But if you have no other option, and if you use a drug, even though it contains alcohol or contains something which is haram, and if that drug is the only drug that can save you, it is permitted in Islam. Otherwise, in a normal circumstance, it is haram. Hope that answers the question. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Wow, wow, such an amazing uh, explanation they have from Dr. Sakin. I, but first of all, I want to, you know, give a shout out to the, the young lady right there. Such an amazing kid. At that age, what was I even doing? I wasn't asking such kind of questions. But anyway, such an amazing kid. And the question that she asked was just, you know, uh, just, you know, where is Allah? You get it. It's just like a simple type of questions, but it, question. But again, it's really, it's really kind of no easy to demystify. But now, what Dr. Zaik actually talked about, which he really explained it in a very, 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 very good way, and uh, he gave it his best uh, shot. But now he went in and started saying that um, the lady started saying that. So is this? So what I'm going to tell my my uh, younger sister, whatever the person she was talking about, that I'm going to tell her that God is everywhere. Doctor Zaid said, "No, that's other people's uh, opinions or maybe belief or whatnot." But according to the Quran, it doesn't say that God is everywhere. So what he's trying to say is that let's not try and change the words of the Quran. Let's just maintain the Quran the way it is. You get it? Don't say anything that is not mentioned in the Quran. 
which is a really good explanation. Anyway, it's such an amazing, amazing, amazing explanation. Really good. But again, most of the people out there are going to be like, ah, God, is, God is everywhere. I mean, uh, anyway, people have different beliefs and you can't, you can't go and start telling them, no, no, God is not everywhere. That's their own belief. They're entitled to their own belief. Maybe their own uh, religious book states, that's what it says, okay? But according to the Quran, it doesn't say that God is everywhere, which is really important for people to, if you want to go into the Quran, go into Islam, you need to actually adhere to that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to me and actually reacting to, uh, watching my reaction video. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction and what do you feel about the, this video of Dr. Zakir Naik about where is Allah and just let me know in the comment section below what's your best definition of uh, uh, what is just of, of, of the question where is Allah because uh, I know many people out there have different opinions I know uh, there are the non-Muslims that are watching and there are Muslims that are watching just give me your own opinion what do you think uh, where is God or where is Allah? Just let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to you know read your comments and I'll be in a position to even answer you people. Anyway guys, thank you so much and the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel man. Keep on subscribing, get us to 10,000 subscribers. Right now we are at, two, uh, right now we are at 9,260 which is really good guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And also, we have a new channel which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Make sure to go and subscribe to that channel. The link is going to be on the comment section below. We're going to pin it down there. And make sure to just, you know, just go and watch and uh, watch our videos and see what we are normally up to in, in our daily routine and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And um, last but not the least, we're going to see in the next video, or rather, I'm going to see in the next video. And peace out.